Welcome today we will learn about another mathematical problem and how to solve it using C++ program that is called arithmetic series. What is meant by arithmetic series and how we can achieve different arithmetic series problem solving using the C++ program. So let's start by using dev C++ select her console application C++ project and type her name that is called arithmetic series or any other name you can type here arithmetic save here the project the default line of codes are written here we can see here because we are using dev c++ we have to include here standard namespace that is called std namespace that is also important for using standard manipulator and standard input output statements so let's start by understanding what is meant by arithmetic series or arithmetic sequence Arithmetic sequence is composed of three uh, major concepts that is called first of all is base value or base term it is also called base term in mathematics second one is rule and third one is important thing that is called rule value or we can also say that the difference or diff value or same value or add value or the series propagations we are simply saying here uh, rule value that will uh, manipulate using the rule defined here in the rule variable so according to the problem definition we have to go up to variable declarations so let's start by declaring variable here we are going declarations or declaration statements first of all we are required here rule first term we can see here uh, first term is our float type or double type why we are getting here float or double type for the first term because the rule may be division here the input rule may be division operator so that we are required here the first term must be of float type or double type another thing that is um, uh, uh, i am uh, want to clear here we are just uh, using this program for defining the four kind of rules that are the four basic arithmetic operators plus minus multiplication and division next we are going to declare rule value or uh, in the same sequence we can say that char rule why we are declaring here uh, rule of type char because we are getting here individual character plus minus multiplication or division here we say rule value that is the uh, propagation or sum or minus or multiplied by the value from the base value or first term okay so now we are going to take input taking input we say that enter first term or value and see in first term similarly we are going here to enter rule or we can also specify here which type of rules a user can input plus minus multiplication or division these rules can be input by the user so, i am using here uh, escape sequence i am zooming the code escape sequence to print the uh, double quotation mars double quotes in the output on the screen okay we will get it in the rule variable and last we will get the rule data or rule value enter rule value your rule data okay see in rule value variable is declared this is the input and declaration portion that i try to complete as fast as possible now we are going to implement the logic behind the printing of series or arithmetic sequence first of all in every arithmetic sequence first term we have to print we are going here to print the first term entered by the user because it is also part of the arithmetic sequence now we are going to implement the switch statement 
you can also check our lecture uh, of arithmetic operators or simple calculator using the switch statement from our videos channel we are applying the switch on the bool we are simply saying here case if the rule is plus then we will say while we are just printing that uh, 10 numbers from the series here we are declaring a counter variable x that will help us to uh, formulate or complete the while iterations x is less than 10 I am saying here we are just printing the 10 terms of the series and I am using here less than 10. Why using less than 10 for printing the 10 term? Because it will print the 9 terms. This while loop will print the next 9 terms and the 10th term we have already print here. Okay. In while loop we, were, we are required to calculate the next term. Next term coming term the formula for calculating the next coming term is the we are saving here the next term in the same variable that is first term to avoid the use of multiple variables in the same algorithm or program first term this formula will be equivalent to the first term plus rule value or data what is declared here here is declared rule value This is the simple step. Why we are using here plus? Because uh, if uh, case plus is made, means that user have input the rule plus. After this, calculating the term, we have to display this term. Displaying term using cout statement. Cout same statement as we have used for printing the first term. We are printing here two spaces to beautify the output and next we have to increment the we are saving here the file that is arithmetic as yes, arithmetic sequence okay same thing we have to do for the minus multiplication and division operator after this case statement and other thing that is much more important to put the break statement here that is also part of the case statement in switch statement what is going on you can also sniff what is next going on after plus operator we will have to check here minus and same thing we have to implement here minus and after minus we have to put here multiplication same symbol will be placed in the printing of turn that is multiplication and the last symbol we are offering here for the rule is division okay the same symbol will be placed here the division these are the case statements four possible cases uh, according to the specified problem definition and the last statement in the switch will be the default that will print invalid valid rule or operator because we are offering only four operators that we have already display in the taking input from the user okay so let's uh, compile and run this code what is shortcoming or what kind of error may occur this is the output enter first term this is the output screen that is displaying on the computer i say that the first term is two <coughs> next it is uh asking from the user enter rule plus minus multiplication or division i am typing here the plus and the next is term we can see we are again executing the code okay this is taking input enter first term let's suppose we are entering the two the term is operator is let's suppose this is plus and the term is term rule value is 5 here we have to see that the three steps that are necessary for the sequence printing is first of all initial term or first term the rule and the propagation or the next difference between these values difference may be the addition multiplication or division according to the rule specified here 
we are going to print the 10 numbers from the series we can also increase this series up to 100 numbers 1000 100000 etc according to our requirement this is the arithmetic sequence using the rule uh, addition i have to again run this code for multiplication or division or any other operator to make a clear sense for the arithmetic series let's suppose this is the initial or first term we are typing here the rule that is division and we are saying here uh, the value or rule value any value may be the rule value we can see here the series is generated successfully this is 3.4287 etc some 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 this is the arithmetic sequence generated by the algorithm okay the last check we have implemented in the code is that invalid operator or invalid rule we say that 5 is over first term 6 is over rule and 1 is over rule value then it will simply print a message that is invalid rule because the operator or rule provided here is not listed in our switch statement now we are going to code for closer look at the code this is our input section in which we have declared multiple variables such as first term a rule and rule value and after declaration statements one declaration is uh, done in this line we can also put here this line in the complete declaration statements these four are the declared variables after declaration statement we take input using input statement three inputs are required according to the problem definition for printing or calculation of arithmetic sequence or series first term initial term rule and rule value data in this program example we use two control structure one is selection and other control structure is called iterative control structure for iterative control structure we use while statement from the c plus plus and i for selection structure we use switch statement in this we write down the case for different rules and each and every rule the code is approximately the same we can also get the same code line of code from the ms institute management system website which link is provided in the description so nice keep, keep in touch and subscribe our channel for latest update and video lecture for c plus plus and visual programming thank you